if this move does get finalized, then it will be a good next step for Bala El Canoes. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today I wanted to talk about the recent news linking Bala El Canoes to German club RB Leipzig and giving my overall thoughts and opinion. Before I go ahead and begin this video though, as always don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel to an audience looking to learn more about Moroccan football. But with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Young Moroccan star Bilal El Canouz, who currently plays with Belgian club Gink, has recently come into spotlight over the last several days in regards to a potential move to RB Leipzig. Now, compared to recent news that we've heard about him being linked to several clubs, this seems to be the most concrete as RB Leipzig seems to be very serious about acquiring him. Now let's take a deeper diver look into this overall move. RB Leipzig, the German club who is well renowned for actually molding a lot of young talented players is yet again looking to reinforce their squad for the next season and this time they have their eyes set on young Moroccan star Bala El Canous. Now with the pending move of Shami Simmons back to PSG, um, RB Leipzig is looking into bringing another midfielder who could help with that ongoing creativity. And this is where El Canou's name comes. Now, this move, in my honest opinion, is definitely a move that I've been wanting to happen for quite some time. Going back to as far back as a couple months, or actually even last month, El Canuts was actually being monitored by RB Leipzig, as well as several other German clubs who are still keeping an eye on him with the likes of Borussia Dortmund and Bayer Leverkusen also all interested in bringing him in. But RB Leipzig to me seems like the more fitting project and here's why. RB Leipzig currently ranks 6 for the most the youngest team in their squad with the average age of just 25. It shows you how much faith the coach has in their youth player and how to get the best of them because if you see how they've been performing overall as a team especially with a young squad they always seem to be in contention for European football where in this season they're currently in a battle with Borussia Dortmund in hopes of who can get that final spot for the Champions League and of course seeing how well they progress you know this season in the Champions League it does show that the coach does know how to get the best for him and of course it's still early in the days to know whether this move is going to be concrete or not but if it does end up happening i feel that el canoes taking over for shabby simon would be a huge pivotal moment not just for moving to a new club but helping him grow as an overall player see el canoes everybody who has been watching him throughout his time in the Belgian league know that he has great vision and passing and of course a good knack for scoring goals you know many consider him like the next era of Kevin De Bruyne and it's not surprising to see when you see how he plays and how closely it revolves around Kevin De Bruyne so having a player like him especially in the midfield that could complement the likes of maybe Luis Appenda could be pivotal in helping him you know grow as a player as he would be able to help the attack more by creating elusive plays making great passes and ultimately helping contribute in more goals you know we've seen how he can be with gank but of course with gang though they've had you could say somewhat of a good season there is some things that limit you know his overall talent because more times than not you know it feels like El Canoes could easily be amongst the top of the chart for leading assists but because his teammates at time don't end up finishing their you know end goals it usually just doesn't end up counting so it, it's a lot of missed opportunities but I feel with the way that RB likes to attack it would be even beneficial like you can definitely get a lot more goals in him and e even better helping grow on some of the factors 
Although for everything that Bilal Canoes can do with, in regards to passing, pressing, attack, you know, there is still some parts to his game where he definitely still needs to work on, especially on, you know, uh, durability in terms of being able to fully play the full 90 minutes. You know, compared to last season where he wouldn't be able to compete the whole 90 minutes, this season has definitely seen a change. But in Germany, it's a whole different level where he'll have to greatly adjust his duration on how long he can last the field in order to continue keeping his spot in the starting 11 and as well as seeing this more as a move in terms of progression see the belgian club was already a good starting point moving to germany is a vital next step because i feel germany and the overall bundesliga has had a good hand in helping nurture a lot of young talent not just in rb leipzig you see it in even the top teams of it you see in eintracht frankfurt borussia Dortmund, Bayern leverkusen and even Bayern munich you see them giving a lot of opportunity to these young players so being able to progress understand the style of football that is play in the German league not only helps him improve better as a player helps it his overall you know uh, profit come off as he will be more of a profitable player in the future as well as helping him grow in terms of club and national team because you've seen the likes of Erlich Haaland and Jude Bellingham how they were able to transition from their old respected club play a couple years in Germany and now succeeding in the two biggest clubs for the respective leagues. So if Bala Elkanus can make the transition to Germany, fully cement himself and do good overall in the season that he is there, I can definitely see him moving to an even bigger club, whether it's in England, Spain, Italy, or just staying in Germany and probably staying with Leipzig or even moving to like Bayern Munich, who knows, the possibilities are endless, but the most important thing is that this move does end up happening. So there you have it. This is my overall thoughts about Blau Elkanu's potential move to RB Leipzig. As mentioned, Elkanu's is a very talented player and with the right move, he could potentially grow into a superstar player and be, you know, as vital of a player as we have seen with the likes of Jude Bellingham and Erling Haaland. I don't know if he'll reach up to those heights, but being able to move to a club where you are guaranteed minutes and the possibility of continuing to grow with the likelihood of potential future benefit is definitely in the realms if he is smart about it. As mentioned, RB Leipzig, in my honest opinion, would be the perfect move for him. But of course, it is his overall thoughts and opinion that matter, whether he wants to do it or just move to an entirely different club or even continue to stay in Belgium, it is up to him. But I would love to hear your thoughts and opinion about the overall matter. Do you think it's a good idea for him to move to RB Leipzig? Do you think he should stay an extra season with Gink? Or do you think he should move to a completely different club that's not uh, RB Leipzig? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinion, but more importantly, I'm just glad that you all made it to the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.